Still traveling in the Mideast, President Obama is urging both the Israelis and Palestinians to resume peace talks. ABC's Timon Bradley is in Washington with more on the president's trip. After a visit to the West Bank, President Obama returned to Israel for a speech to Israeli students. I believe that peace is the only path to true security. You have the opportunity to be the generation that permanently secures the Zionist dream. Administration officials billed the speech as the centerpiece of the president's visit to the Middle East. Before his remarks, Mr. Obama met with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and appealed for peace between the Israelis and Palestinians. If we can get direct negotiations started again, I believe that the shape of a potential deal is there. The president is hoping for a two-state solution and is pushing Palestinian leaders to drop preconditions for relaunching peace talks. Abbas wants the Israelis to cease settlement building in the West Bank. Peace shall not be made through violence, occupation, walls, settlements. While Mr. Obama was in the West Bank, rockets launched by Palestinian militants struck southern Israel. We condemn this violation of the important ceasefire that protects both Israelis and Palestinians. President Obama also made a couple symbolic stops today, including touring a Palestinian youth center and visiting the Shrine of the Book in Jerusalem, where he saw the Dead Sea Scrolls, ancient religious texts. President Obama will attend a state dinner the Israelis are throwing in his honor. It's the last big event before Mr. Obama heads off to Jordan. Taman Bradley, ABC News, Washington.